Hello and welcome to a five minute whistle stop look at D cube allocations. Now I'm always really surprised by just how many customers I meet who aren't really aware that you can use a D cube in planning analyst as a form of allocating in a link source to target. So that's what we're going to take a look at. Now I've got a simple revised forecast here. I've got budget coming in here, plan net income, actuals coming in here and then I've got a BIF that basically looks at the two of those and gives me a revised forecast. Now like I said I'm always really surprised by just how many places I go and customers are still doing this to bring in their actuals on a monthly basis. So they've got a link say to an actuals cube and you've guessed it months to months is just a manual allocation so every month they're counting on the same person really opening up the correct link and then manually saying, OK, July is no longer forecast, it's actual. So I want to do data into July. Now, in terms of the data that's going to bring through, there's nothing actually wrong with that. Of course, it's going to work. A manual allocation will work to do exactly what the end user wants it to do. But in terms of process, that's not great. Like I said, it, it really means that you're relying on someone knowing the correct link to open up. You're counting on them to not do something daft like delete all rows by mistake or to um, allocate more than one month or lots of things. This could have been inadvertently changed. So June, for example, might have been taken out someone then comes in and thinks ah june must be the next month lots of little things that can go wrong in a process that gets run time and time again that you're just not going to pick up on straight away i'd also always say ideally you don't want to be changing the link once you've saved it so let's leave that as it was let's close it down and let's have a look at how a d cube can be used instead now i've built this one here actual months alloc um let's just turn that around so it's a bit clearer okay really small cube and it just contains three key pieces of data really you've got your months down the side here this simply is data entry and it says tell me whether a period is an actual period or a forecast period current month is simply a replica of your months so that's pre-populated at the start of your year whenever that may be with all of the months so January through to December actual months you'll see is a calculation it's actually a conditional and it says if actual forecast is one so in other words if the actual forecast flag indicates that the month is an actual then populate actual months with the current month otherwise leave it as blank so what this in effect means is let's just say that this is the beginning of my year every month at that start point is obviously forecast i have no actual months that conditional has wiped them out we're then saying let's just assume that we've now had the first six months there we go so rather than opening up a link which you could break which you could link the wrong thing all you're going to ask anyone to do is open up a cube and say ah okay july is now an actual month and that's it. You would then just save, close your cube. So how do you then use that in a link? Okay, well, let's take a look. If we edit the link that we've got, it's still an allocation, but what we're going to do instead, D-Link allocation table, use d -cube data. We're gonna use that actual months alloc. Do we need the whole cube? No, we don't. All we need is that actual months column because that's telling us which month is an actual month. So let's select that. This is the only bit really where you have to really think about what it is you're trying to achieve. If I say, okay, analyst comes up with an error message. <clears throat> All it's really telling you is, let's cancel out of here for now. If we look at a manual allocation or even you're probably familiar with the allocation table, they always have one thing in, um, in common. They only have two columns. Obviously, you've got a source column and a target column. 
if you want to use a cube, it has to do exactly the same thing. So if we open up our actual months alloc, let's open up the selection that we were trying to open up. In other words, oh, not what I wanted, actual months. That's what it's telling you the problem is. At the moment, it has multiple columns. It actually just wants the cube to be transposed. So in effect, you have a source column and a target column. It's very easy to achieve that. Allocation table, D cube data. So we're gonna go back to where we were previously. I want my actual months. How do I now effectively transpose that cube? It's this button here, slice. If you hover over it, change orientation of D cube. So I just want to swap those around. My months will be my rows. Columns is my actual months alloc. OK. And OK. And this is the last bit of using the cube as a form of allocation. Analyst is clever. It's not limiting you to how you use the cube. It's saying to you, OK, it's got two columns, but I'm clever enough to say, I can use either as the source or the target. So it can look effectively at what your dcube data is and say that that's the source, or it can look at the dlist and say that's the source. It can look at it either way around. In terms of what we want to do, our source is the dlist. In other words, the list that has everything, January through to December. Because if you think about it, our target is just the actual month, so January through to July. So dlist as source, but Analyst is clever enough to do either. So say OK. And there you go. That's it. Once that is set up, you never have to touch this link again. Close. I'm going to save the change. And here we are back at our cube. So let's say now July, we've done that. We've got actuals for it. Your new process would be simply open up this cube. Now, we did actually do this earlier, if you remember, actual, we've now said July is an actual month and it populated actual months with July. So if I now simply do a dcube update, there you go, July is coming through actual and it's telling me zero for a very simple reason. If I open up my actuals cube. July has zero data in it. So there you go. That's how you do uh, a D cube allocation.